Today, we advocate for the continued funding of $2.5 million for our social equity program. Without social equity funding, hundreds of equity applicants, those are folks in the queue waiting to get licenses, and current equity business owners, those guys that are paying our taxes, alike will lose access to these critical resources as of June 30th, 2024. It is crucial to address the absence of funding in this budget for the vital social equity program. As social equity cannabis businesses begin their entrepreneurial journey, they encounter very unique challenges and disadvantages compared to their well-funded, non-social equity counterparts. These folks face regulatory barriers, limited access to capital and funding, competition and competition for more well-established, well-funded businesses, not to mention the pernicious illegal market. Essential social equity services like one-on-one -on -one business coaching and training, webinars and online cannabis business courses, learning materials and other resources tailored to a cannabis business, as well as access to free and low-cost legal assistance, has been totally transformative for the equity entrepreneurs in this community. Currently, 70% of our social, sorry, 77, thank you, Dr. Brown, of our social equity license operators, these are the folks who are currently paying city taxes, utilize every aspect of this program. Since 2019, the city council has invested, and thank you for this, $9 million into our social equity program. We believe this investment has yielded significant returns with the social equity community contributing over $40 million in tax revenue to the city's general fund. This program and the resources provided have previously been funded through the general fund. Administrative clerk uh, position. Is, is that position the only staff assigned to handling and directing illegal business complaints? Yes. And if that position isn't restored, is there an estimate as to how long it would take for a typical complaint to be addressed? At this moment, I want to be careful about answering that question because we don't ever want to let any stone go unturned mm -hmm. and uh, we don't ever want to leave any task on the table that is absolutely critical to public safety. Um, so DCR will work as hard as we can to ensure that there is no gap in service, but this particular position, which is a TLH funded position, um, is very critical to liaising with uh, not just D DWP, DBS, but most importantly LAPD and verifying whether or not a business is legal or illegal. Okay, thank you. I'd actually I'd like to ask for a budget memo on restoring that position. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, fentanyl right. being, being mm -hmm. in, you know, I had a horrible case in my district of, of a kid who had died from, you know, buying, buying marijuana illegally, mm -hmm. which was laced with fentanyl and led to his yep. death. Um, so that's exactly right. That's the right. other consequence, which I didn't even outline.